So for women, the commonest cause of infertility, especially in our region, that's where you said you, you said that uh, there's, it's, there's a bit of geography, mm -hmm. is a tubal factor, okay, where the mm -hmm. tubes are blocked. If you look at, uh, as, a, as a revision, mm -hmm. if we look at the uterus here, mm -hmm. We find we have the uterus where the, there's a cavity or the hole, mm -hmm. and this is where the baby grows. This is the uterine walls, mm -hmm. and then of course we have the uterine tubes, mm -hmm. okay, which we want to remind people, mm -hmm. and then we have the ovary. Mm -hmm. And the egg must come from the ovary mm -hmm. into the tube, and rests, uh, when, when it reaches here, it mm -hmm. meets sperm that has come all the way from the birth canal, mm -hmm. has swam all the way mm -hmm. and swam through the tubes mm -hmm. and they meet here and fertilize and make an embryo. Mm -hmm. Then the embryo then is the one that travels over a, a number of days up to six days on the seventh day mm -hmm. is when it, it gets into the uterus mm -hmm. fifth, between fifth and sixth day mm -hmm. and then by the seventh day implantation starts to happen. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? That you must have intact tubes, okay? Mm -hmm. Even with blocked tubes, people get periods. You know, the period they say, I say, perhaps you could have tubal uh, blockage. They say, no, but I've been getting my periods. No, that does not affect, mm -hmm. because periods come from here. But the tube can be blocked and no one knows. So mm -hmm. the commonest cause of infertility, especially in our, in our region, in the sub-Saharan Africa, mm -hmm. it is the blockage of the tubes, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Then the other cause, because I mean, uh, this area mm -hmm. is also when the uterus itself is affected when we have fibroids. Fibroids on the outside do not affect. But when you have fibroids within the cavity, mm -hmm. they can cause a problem with the implantation of the embryo that has just come in. Mm -hmm. Then uh, other co the other conditions that can also affect the uterus, it can be that you have polyps. Polyps are tongue-like structures that come from the lining, overgrowth of the lining. Mm -hmm. They also affect the uterus. And they also cause heavy bleeding. They almost uh, have the same symptoms as fibroids. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes we have scarring of the uterus so that there's a scar here. There's almost like cobwebs inside here where the cavity has been closed. Mm -hmm. So all those structural problems in the uterus can affect implantation. Mm -hmm. Another very important problem mm -hmm. is problems with ovulation. Mm -hmm. Okay, Because we say the sperm will have to come, it must find an egg. Okay, mm -hmm. So some people have, probably have enough eggs but they have a problem mm -hmm. with ovulating. Uh, problems uh, and those are conditions like uh, hormonal disorders like polycystic ovarian disease mm -hmm. which is very common uh, so you find the egg cannot be released in time mm -hmm. other hormonal disorders like people with prolactin problems mm -hmm. prolactin is the milk uh, hormone mm -hmm. and when we have a disorder from the pituitary which is found somewhere in the brain just above where the the nerve for the eyes is mm -hmm. when it produces too much prolactin when you're not supposed to be breastfeeding it affects and causes uh, ovulation problems. Mm -hmm. Even our thyroids, mm -hmm. when they produce too, too little of the hormone or too much of the hormone can affect ovulation. Mm -hmm. So we call that hormonal imbalances and that affects. Mm -hmm. But the biggest cause of ovulation problems is age. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, we, 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 we tend to forget that there's a biological clock. You know, we used to hear people used to say, oh, you're turning 35, you should get worried. It is actually true, maybe not exactly 35 years, but from about the, the age of 35, mm -hmm. then the egg reserve starts to go down. Mm -hmm. Because as women, we are born with all our eggs in our ovaries, mm -hmm. and then every month they start uh, ovulating. So if there's a delay in childbirth that like happens, you know, as we get more educated, we work longer, mm -hmm. and we'll get married later, maybe not even education, maybe even our men are changing and they don't want to marry these girls early, mm -hmm. then it becomes more difficult to to, as you grow older, especially about the age of 40, mm -hmm. you start having problems with ovulation. The number of eggs goes down and the quality of the eggs goes down. So mm -hmm. it becomes harder to conceive. So as you were saying, you know, you said in your opening mm -hmm. statement that age is a factor. Yes, it's a factor because of uh, problems with ovulation. Mm -hmm. Okay? okay. Uh, now, other conditions that we can say in general that will affect both is conditions like endometriosis. It will affect ovulation mm -hmm. because uh, even as the, uh, we get cysts in the ovaries, that affects and the operator that can affect the, mm -hmm. the, quality, uh, the, the quality and the number of eggs, mm -hmm. but also can cause even things like blockage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are standalone conditions that just decrease of uh, fertility. Mm -hmm. So endometriosis, polycystic ovarian disease, we need to think about them.